Anyway, if you ask me, it sounds pretty boring. Nobody's asking you, Pinky. Be nice for a change. I want to know. Pinky, my mother's usually too busy to spend much time with me. That's the big deal. You understand why I'm so excited about it, right, Blinky? Sure. Don't worry about Pinky. Just go out and have fun. Well, I understand better now, Sandy, but what about your dress? My dress? But what's wrong with it? You behave yourself. That's not nice. Sandy's dress is beautiful. Thanks, Blinky. I think you're the best. See, he likes my dress no matter what you say. If you ask me, it makes you look pretty old, Sandy. But if you like it so much, I promise I won't say another bad thing about it. Okay, Pinky, maybe there's hope for you yet. Uh -huh. I think I'm a nice bear. Mom! I'll bet that's her now. Hello? Hi, Mom, where are you? Sandy, darling, I'm still at work and I'm afraid I won't <gasps> be able to meet you. Why? I'm sorry, but I'm just too busy. You're always busy. Mother! Sandy, my boss has given me a... Want to know something? The real reason I don't like that dress is because it makes Sandy's freckles stand out. Think you're too much. I happen to think Sandy's freckles are nice. Oh, maybe I could grow a few, huh? I don't believe it. Uh-oh, I think something's wrong. Wrong? What's the matter, Sandy? Why are you so sad all of a sudden? Oh, uh, it's nothing. What did she say to you? You can tell us. I'm not going. My mother has work to do. What? She's busy. Are you sure? It's that job of her. She never has time for me. Well, maybe she'll change her mind, Sandy. She will. How do you know? I know. Maybe she'll decide to go and talk to her boss. I think that your mother's mean. Real mean. She is not. That's not fair at all. She has a job to do, Pinky. You can stick up for her. I don't care. I don't think that it's nice to break a promise, Sandy. Pinky, leave her alone. It's not her fault. Okay, then I hope that Blinky's right. Maybe she'll just talk to her boss and he'll let her come home. But... Yeah! You'll see. What the two of you don't understand is that when people have a job, they can't just leave whenever they want. You don't know what bosses are like. You just gave me a great idea. With my contact, we can watch your mother at work so we can learn what it's all about. That's a great idea. Let us look, let us see. Why is Mrs. Brown so busy? I don't see anything. Hold on. There it is. <gasps> I don't believe it. My mother didn't tell me the truth. Huh? Uh oh! I saw a bear! Hey! 
could go to an amusement park, and then on top of that, you lied to her and told her you were too busy at work. I'm surprised at you. Well, what do you have to say? That poor girl feels betrayed and you owe her a big apology. But, Mother, I didn't lie. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Yes, I wasn't playing. I was writing an article. Why? For my boss. He needed it for the new magazine he's printing up. Oh. I wanted to be with Sandy so badly, but I had no choice. I hate amusement parks, and that roller coaster nearly scared me half to death. But when you're oh boss, my goodness, yes, and you do it, Sandy's getting all upset over nothing. I can't understand why my mom is doing this to me. All I know is that when I'm a mom, I'm going to spend a whole lot more time with my kids than my mom does with me. And after we go shopping for pants, maybe we'll have time to buy you that beautiful doll you've had your eyes on. Thanks. Well, don't forget to thank your daddy when we get home tonight. Okay. I wish my mom was like her. Arr. Boy, I'll never forgive her. She'll be sorry she liked me. <laughs> I'll bet she'll be really sorry. She better be, because I'm sorry already. <laughs> What a world, what a world. <laughs> She's not there. Well, Emily, if you or any of your friends see her, please tell her to call me immediately, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye. She's taking this very seriously. I could have sworn we'd find her at Emily. I keep hoping that she'll walk in the door at any minute. Oh. I'm worried, Mother. Now it's getting late. I wonder where she could be. Sandy's never done anything like this. Hello there. If you want to jump rope, why don't you just go over there and join them? Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's after six. She's probably lost. I've never told a lie to Sandy in my entire lifetime. I just wish she'd come home already. Then I'm going to take her shopping anywhere she wants to go. Oh, what if she was kidnapped? Kidnapped? Oh, don't even say such a terrible thing, Mother. But, Kelly, there's no other place Sandy could be that we haven't tried. Oh, well, I refuse to let myself get caught up in thinking the worst. I'm going over to her teacher's house. Hopefully, he can give me some helpful advice about all this. Bye, Mother. The more I thought about what Mama had done to me, the madder I got. I decided that I would get back at her by having a good time of my own. I knew it was going to be hard, but I was determined to find a way. That I'm the only girl in the whole wide world whose mom didn't tell her the truth. 
<laughs> yeah, kidnap Mrs. Brown. Excuse me, my mother said that, and I'm sure it's not the case. We just don't know where she went, so we thought you might be able to help. We called all of her friends, but she's not with any of them. Hmm, say, maybe she went to the library to do homework. The library? Yes, tomorrow there's a big math test, and Sandy might have gone over to study. Your daughter happens to be an excellent pupil, Mrs. Brown. Come on, let's pay her a visit. I hope you're right about this. I'm quite sure she'll be here. I can't wait to talk to her. Oh, no. The library's already closed. Oh, I can't believe it. I was positive she'd be here. Sandy, come on. Hmm. Hi, Blinky. Find her yet? I'm afraid not, and it's beginning to get pretty dark outside. How about calling the police and asking them? We already called them up, and they haven't found her yet. Do you think maybe your sister can help? I wish she could, Grandma, but when Pinky disappears, it can be really hard to find her. How come she's so selfish? Poor Sandy's missing, and her little sister could use her magic to go out and find her. Well, if you see her, Blinky, tell her to get to work right away. I wish I could go home now, but I can't. I miss my mother. Why did she have to lie to me? And I miss Blinky and Pinky and Grandma, too. <gasps> That's where my mother was. <laughs> mother. Well, if she can have a good time, so can I. Amusement park, here I come. for the admission. This is going to be fun. Wow. Hi. <laughs> it's Blinky's twin. I bet he's really worried about me right now. Well, that's just too bad because I'm determined to have a good time no matter what. But I do miss him an awful lot. If anything ever happened to Sandy, I don't think I'd ever be able to smile again. Pinky! Where have you been? Where's Sandy? I want to see her. Oh, Pinky, you make me crazy. Mm. What's making you act so strangely all of a sudden? I think you better come with me right now, Pinky. Wow. Yes, sir. I realize this is my third call to the police in the last 20 minutes, but I was hoping that you'd found some new information and had forgotten to call. I'm very sorry for bothering you. Oh. Hi! Oh, Grandma! Look who I found! She showed up just in the nick of time for once. Will you two police tell me what's happening? No one has any idea where Sandy is. <gasps> you mean she never came home? Mm-hmm. This is pretty serious. We've been looking for her every place, but we still haven't found her. Maybe you can use your magic to help us. No problem. I can find her. Really? Mm-hmm. Where'd she run? Where'd she go? Where is Sandy? Do you know? There she is. You did it! <laughs> What's the matter with your contact? Is she all right? Oh, no! Oh, Mother's back! She'll see us! Quick, both of you run upstairs before she comes in and finds you. I'm home. Mother, has Sandy come home yet? No, she hasn't. Was her teacher able to help you at all? He thought she'd be at the library, but it was closed. Oh, what are we going to do, Blinky? What if we can't find her? Hey, Pinky, calm down. Maybe your contact is just a little broken. We might still be able to use it. Come on, open it up. I hope you're right. I'll look. This is Sandy. Find us Sandy. Let me see. Oh. There. Oh, what's the matter with Sandy? She looks so strange. Hey, you better have that thing fixed. Hey, wait a second. Now it's working perfectly. That's strange. 
Blinky, I bet she was in the farmhouse at the amusement park. She's at the amusement park. Right. I've run out of ideas, Mother. What should we do next? Let's hope for the best, dear. One thing about Sandy is she knows how to take care of herself. But she's much too young to be out there all alone like this, Mother. It's terrible. Let's oh. call the police again, and the fire department, too. We need all the help we can get. Kelly, wait. Give it a little more time. A little more time? I'm going out of my mind, and you want to give it a little more time? Honestly, Mother, you make me so mad. Uh, mother? Huh? What are you looking at? All I see is a picture on the wall and a staircase. Mother? Mother, what's the matter? Stop that. You're reminding me of that roller coaster ride I took. That's it. Kelly, now it makes sense. Just hold on a second. How does my riding a roller coaster help you make sense out of any of this? They meant the amusement park. Who meant what? Hurry, Jack Garrett. I'm sure we'll find her now. Mother, how do you know where she is all of a sudden? Believe me, Kelly, that's not what's important right now. I bet she's there. Safe and sound and probably having a great time with all the other little children. Okay, if you're so positive, then we better go. I'm more than positive, Kelly. I'm sure of it. I just wish I thought of this earlier. Now, come on, don't sit there like that. The faster we get there, the sooner she'll be home. You see? Grandma understands. Yeah, I know. You did a pretty good job there, Blinky. But if it wasn't for me and all of my magic, we never would have found her. When we find Sandy, I'm going to give that girl some talking to. Watch. I don't think you better do that to the poor girl. Why not? Why? Because she's been hurt very badly and she needs her mother's loving kindness. If you made this up just to make Made it up. Take a look for yourself. <gasps> Baby! <gasps> Mother, I'm okay. Oh. 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 oh! I'm sorry, Mother. I'm so happy you're okay. Uh, I sure am happy they're together again. That was terrible. I hope you'll realize how much trouble you caused by teasing Sandy about being too scared to run away. Hey, it wasn't my fault. Sandy, I hope you didn't go on the roller coaster. That was the scariest ride I ever had in my entire life. 
I think I'd enjoy it myself. Knowing you as I do, Mother, I'm sure you would have loved it. In any case, I'm still waiting to hear who told you where to find Sandy. Oh, uh, under the birdie gave me all my information, Kelly. Come on, Mother, stop acting so funny and tell me the truth. After all, I owe this mystery person, whoever it was, my heartfelt thanks. Well, something tells me you wouldn't believe me anyhow, Kelly, so let's just say I was unbearably worried I took a lucky guess. I see.